All right, today was kind of a wishy-washy, all over the place kind of day. Um, since I didn't like this whole brake setup, I ended up making a half inch spacer block. I don't know if you can see it. Made out of uh, HDPE, high density polyethylene. And I just have some stainless steel screws in there now. Obviously I have to get some, some longer ones. But what this does is it absolutely makes the fittings kind of <laughs> uh, go sideways and, and this just look neater and, and feel nicer. I did take the shorter line from the left side and ran it over to the right side and also kind of figuring this out. This is the Rams recommended location. I think here would be better. I just don't know if it'll interfere with, I don't know, autopilot servo or fuel lines or something on this side. Um, this is now the longer line from the left side, sorry, from the right side. And I actually think I'm probably gonna end up having some custom lines made at least for that section to go here and uh, along there. Uh, what else should I work on? Put this guy in and I don't know if this came, it says there's a vented piece that goes in there that comes with the reservoir. I did not have anything in my box that I saw. So these are not secured yet because I don't know where they're gonna go with the oil cooler and everything being there. Uh, so a lot of thinking today and uh, this bracket here, I'm thinking of actually making a bigger one of those that just kind of comes up with a little bit of an angle and then mount that bracket to it any uh, as well. All right, jump in between the uh, header tank and the parking brake. I came up, oops, came up with an idea here. So instead of using this plastic block, uh, it looks like I can move this over and use these two bolts and then add another two bolts on this side and it'll give you some clearance from here and it shouldn't interfere with anything else that's going there. So I kind of just sketched out uh, a little bracket like this that I'm going to make and we'll see if it works. Alright, so I made a small alteration to my bracket and the reason being is I set up my little bendy jig Harbor Freight Special but I cannot bend, I need to bend this down and then back out again. So I'll be able to bend this down and this down and then I'll use my pliers or something else to bend that back out. Um, the idea is just basically that the parking brake reservoir is gonna sit right here. We're gonna drill a couple holes. The bracket for the parking brake cable is gonna sit up here. This will be bent down so it spaces out a half an inch and then back out. Same thing on this side, it will be down and back out. These will use the two existing holes that are already in the firewall, but by moving it over, it actually centers it between the brakes, so, um, you know, symmetrical. And uh, then I'll have to drill two more holes here. So it'll be four bolts holding this. The uh, parking brake reservoir will be bolted to this, so I might either put nut plates in here um, so you can take it off, or you'd have to take off the whole bracket and then unbolt it. But we'll figure that out in a minute. Well, that came out really nice. I like the way uh, you know I did the little relief cuts in there, except this broke. Hmm, probably too tight of a bend. Back to the drawing board. Quick little YouTube video showed me that you have to anneal it. I guess that means heating it. So we'll try that.
And that is why women live longer than men. Number one, looks like a number one. So what you may not have noticed is that this time I actually made two. And why did I make two? Because I am going to give this away to my one millionth subscriber. That's a joke. Uh, well, plan A would be to give it to my brother who's building the same plane and uh, he's going to come across this. Plan B, in case I may mess mine up again, I have a backup. I have to admit, these came out really cool. Kind of looks like a professional built it, I think, in my humble opinion. I have a little roundouts in there, roundouts in there. It's just a little bit shy. The uh, for those, in case you didn't figure it out, that's going to mount to that. That's going to mount to the original holes in the plane. Then you got to drill one more here, one more there. But the benefit of that is that the brake line bracket, which by the time you put the little thingy doohickey on there, lines up with that. And I think it's going to be cool. I'm excited. And I have two and a half. All right, well, I got it all installed. I got the top piece riveted on. I primed it because it's metal against metal. On the outside, I put uh, these two bolts. Uh, that's the original holes that were already in the firewall. And then I added these two. Um, I stole them from the firewall forward kit. So I'm gonna have to replace those. And it's centered, it's accessible. I kind of reversed this from what they had. But the consensus on these lines is our kit came with 69 inches for the left side and 87 inches for the right side. And that is maximum, meaning all the way measured from this to um, the end of the, the 90 degree. My brother did some research and talked to Jamie at Rands and the current kit, if you have a tail dragger, will give you 43 inches in the front and 63 inches in the front. Uh, and that will, you know, save you wrapping up 20 inches of, uh, of uh, brake line. Um, I'm, this is where Rans wants it. This is where I want it. I'm planning on looping it around this way and I can put it pretty much anywhere. So these lengths work for me. Now the question is, do we have to buy them? Will they swap them? And uh, if you're stuck, Brett at Bonaco, super nice guy. He said he will modify your factory ones for $20. And the new ones, I believe that's $20 a piece. And the new ones are anywhere between 40 and $60, depending on the length and whatever ends you want. So it's like, okay, how much is it gonna cost to ship them? How much is it gonna cost to ship them back? How much is it gonna cost to modify them? So we're waiting to hear back from Jamie at Rance and see uh, if we can just get those lines. That would be easiest. All right, good night. <laughs>